Hello everyone. So in this video, let us solve one more problem from lead code. The problem name is convert sorted array to binary search string. Okay. So let us go over the problem statement first. You are given an integer array nums where the elements are sorted in an ascending order. Now convert it into a height balanced binary search tree. That's the whole problem. Now, what is a height balance search tree? A height balance search tree is a binary tree in which the depth of the two subtrees of every node never differs by more than one. So this is a height balance binary tree. So what is actually the problem statement you are given, as you can see that this is a sorted array that is given to you. Now you have to convert this into a binary, which you can say, what you can say that you have to, all the elements are given to you a height balance binary tree. That is, you have to convert that, uh, binary source tree actually. Now you can pause on this video, try to think you can also go over and see what is a binary search tree in more details, but I can give you a very short description. As you can see a binary search tree is a tree in which all the left elements are smaller. Like you can go to the left of the tree. It is a smaller. And if you go to the right of it, it, it they are larger. So as you can see from zero, if you go left, it is a small number. If you go more left, it is a smaller number. If you go to right, it is a larger number. But for nine, if you go to the left, it is a, like for inconsiderate to nine, it is smaller, but inconsiderable to zero, it is larger. So this is a binary search tree. Now how you can build that? You are given a sorted array and you have to use that to convert it into a binary search tree. Now for a binary search tree, if you just take the same example, that is Okay, let us take the same example. Oh, uh, minus 10, minus 3, minus 10, minus 3, and uh, 0, 5, 9. How you can do that? Now, the very simple thing which you can observe is that if you take this, like, let's say that this is some rope. Let's assume that this is some rope. Okay. And you want to, let's say like, just uh, want to make some binary tree like this. What you can do is like, take this as a pinch and like take this as a rope. If you, if you just assume as a rope and like, just pull it upwards, it will form like this. And this is some sort of a binary tree that you have to form. So it means that you have to also do the same thing for this only. Like this is the middle element, all the elements to the right of it are larger, all the elements to the left of it are smaller. So you can again do the thing, same thing that take the middle element and try to pull it upwards. Like in some sort of binary tree, I just want to tell you how to visualize that nothing more thing, but does this can be the middle element that is zero, the left element and the right element, the left element can be minus three. And if you go more left, it is smaller. So that is why I put it like this minus 10. If you go to the right, it is five. Okay. And if you, so as you can see that there are two elements actually on the right side, there are five and nine. Okay. You can also make it like this, that it is five and this is nine. This is also actually a valid binary source tree. Fine. So how you can do that? The easiest way is that you take this as a whole array. Okay. And you take two pointers that is left and right. Okay. So which means that what you are actually doing here is that you are going to the middle of this whole array. Okay. Let's say, and whatever is the element at this per current middle. So you're, you're taking actually as a whole array. And because what you actually have, what you're actually doing here is that you are putting the middle element as the node and all the left of it are smaller on the right of it are larger. So you are extracting out the right half and the left half. And what you're doing is that, okay, recursively call a function and try to build a binary search tree for the left half and right half, taking this as a sub part. What I mean by this is let us take one example. Let us take the same example. I'll just create out so that it will become more clear to you. Okay, 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 okay. <laughs> it's gone too far. Just a second. Just build that back. Yeah. So what you can observe here is that you just take the middle of it. That is this zero. You are taking two pointers, let's say left and right. So these are the indexes. You'll go to the middle index. That is the mid of both of these values. That is this. You put this as a center and then for the left and right, what is the, whatever is the remaining part? So this is mid. So from left to mid minus one and from mid plus one to right, you have two arrays that are left. 
So now what you're actually doing here is that you have placed the middle element as the node and then you recursively call this function to build again a binary search tree with these sub halves and like combine them to this half because if you take out a subset of this binary search tree also, then it should also be a binary search tree. I hope you get the point. So that is what we are doing here is that like you have the whole array, you picked out the middle element and then you break out this whole array into two halves. You, you send this half down here and this half down here and then ask the same recursive call function to build a recursive like binary search tree using this half and this half. Then again, you go to the middle element and then you send this small half here that is and this small half here that is taking this as a middle element. We have to build this part again, go to the middle element, take this half here and this half here and you keep on doing this till only one element is left and only one element is left. So this is the last element. So how you can keep track of these halves, you can use two pointers. So this is left, this is right. And then whenever you are taking some element that is the middle element of this, then you recursively call this function from left to mid minus one because the middle element is taken. So left to mid minus one as well as from mid plus one to right. So you just recursively call on those two halves and then they, these functions will return a, actually a tree node pointer. So that can be attached on the left side and the right side of this actual node that we are creating in the middle. So that is the whole problem. Nothing more complicated. This is just a recursive function that call itself for both of the left and right halves. Let us move down to the actual code to make it more clear. So let us move down to the code part, keep loading. Let us see that. So what I've done here is that what you can observe here is that this is the actual calling function. That is, this is the calling function. I've made two variables that is left and right pointing towards the extreme ends of this array that is given to you. That is nums. So left is zero. That is the indexes of those and right is the last index that is nums of length minus one. Now we will call this create function that will create a binary source tree using. So we have to first pass out these two halves for which I want to create. So initially I want to create it for the whole array. So LNR and the nums array. Now what this function will do. So this is a recursive function for the recursive function. We have to first define out a base case. The base case is that these are the two, as you can see extremes. If we land on a single element, what it means that these two pointers should becomes and comes down to the same element. That is if my left and right pointer, that is the left and right index for which I want to find out the middle element, if they becomes equal, which means that there's only one element. So that should be a middle element or that can be leaf element. So create a new tree node and insert that element into the nums and just push that as a final leaf node and just stop at this point because you don't have to more elements to iterate over for you. Else it can happen that because I go to the middle element, it can happen that I overshoot. This is left, left should be on the left side, right should be on the right side. But if I go to the middle element and they, and they overcross each other, then if they overcross each other, then it means that, okay, I cannot do any further. Just return a null from that point of time. So these are the base conditions. Else what I'll do is I'll make a, this is the pointer, which means that I'm creating a empty node which I will be like taking as the middle element. So what I've done here is that inserting the middle element value and creating a node out, out of it, as you can see a tree node, and then recursively calling a function again, as you can see the create function is called again, and this will return as you can see a tree node. So tree node on the left part. So this is the pointer, which is I have created a middle node. So the, for the middle node, I have attached to the left of it, calling the create function again, as well as on the right of it, I have called the create function again. For the create function on the left side of it, it is from left to mid minus one, as well as for the right, it is from mid plus one to right. So both of these will return a tree node pointer, as you can see, and these are attached to the left and right values, and then it should be returned as the main pointer. I hope you get the point. So these, this is actually a recursive function. These two are the base case, and this is the actual recursive part. So this will actually form out the binary search tree that is balanced out using recursion and given that you're giving an ascending, like sorted ascending array. Cool. So that's the whole logic as it is the code for this problem. The code will be in the description for this video. So if you want to check that out, you can also go that. So I hope you understand the logic as well as the code for this problem. If you still have any doubts, you can mention down. Thank you for watching this video till the end. I will see you in the next one. Till like you coding and bye.